slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> slow and steady. That's what us calisthenics guys know. God slow and steady. Man. Especially when doing calisthenics, you gotta you, you know you gotta take your time. Because <laughs> calisthenics is way more dangerous than powerlifting. Way more dangerous. When you're doing, whoa, whoa, when you're whoa, doing whoa, flips, whoa. When you're what doing did, flips, what did what did you just say, bro? What Cal did you just say? Are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? That is another discussion, bro. Are you? You gotta be so kidding me. So you're telling me. me you would rather do a backflip off the top of a bar? I'm talking about main. I'm talking about like calisthenics, calisthenics, not like dips and stuff. Okay. I'm talking about like backflips off like ten. Feet I would rather. I would. I would rather. Okay, but that's you're, you're adding a height factor to it. Dude, that's what I'm, right? I'm talking about. Main. I'm talking about calisthenics. That but we, how, like, how, how how many calisthenics are you? Are you flipping off a bar at 10 feet in the air? You, you have to watch Kyle Sykes videos. Bro. Okay. There's so many people. Okay. Man, when you see a Kyle Sykes competition, they're jumping. Oh my gosh, bro. Nah, there's there's no dude, way. Dude, I there's would rather no just way. go on the you're, you're, No, you're, but you have to remember, I'm, I'm talking about, you have to remember, when you're doing powerlifting, you're not going to be stupid enough to do a weight you can't handle or think you can't handle. But there's been... There's been people who have done, who have tried weight that they can't handle and no, they... No, but I mean like, I mean like exaggerate. Like, see how I can only do like... Like let's say two or five, okay. For a squat, I'm not gonna go for like a four, four or five squat. Yeah, I know, but still, but it doesn't matter. Once you get to those really high numbers, an extra five ten pounds can make all the difference between you. Yeah, I know. Hit, hit, hitting the weight and collapsing under the bar. I've seen crazy things happen with people under the bar. You know what I'm saying? I think I think you know, being mid air and doing like handstands and stuff mid air way. I think I I think the because one slip, bro, and like for example. So a lot of people like to jump over bar, like in cast things, jumping over the bar or vaulting yeah. is like common. Like, like everybody like, does. That. Okay, competition wise, I think calisthenics is way more dangerous than powerlifting because one powerlifting you have spotters, right? So you can't really um, get in trouble with with the weight. Like the the weight really can't crush it because you have so many people there. But the training wise, especially when you don't have spotters, I've seen some really, really, really dangerous things happen. Right. Well, so, yeah, yeah, in both, in both, right. But that's but, what I'm saying. In but, both training and like Cal Stanks, the, the way you see people train, like, the way you see people co compete in Cal Stanks tournaments, is how they train because routines. When they create yeah, routines, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I know what I've you mean. I've seen a guy do a backflip off the bar and land on his neck. I thought he was dead. Yeah. Right. And that was one of the good. Like that was like that's like the equivalent of like those powerlifters and comps who are doing like heavy weight. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. Because yeah. they're they're competing, so they're trying to do their best thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I've seen like people tear their entire hands like like rip their entire hand open trying to do backflips off like the bars and stuff like that's way more dangerous i'm telling you like i'm telling you once you get on top nah. of a bar like this high bro like this high if you get on top of a bar this high standing i'm telling you you're scared you're scared like you would you're scared mm. i'm telling you I am like telling i said com competition wise i think it's way dangerous because you can't really have people spotting your calisthenics but training-wise, in, in, in I know I'm saying, com I, I already said that, competition-wise, I think oh, yeah, calisthenics yeah, yeah. is more dangerous. But, um, I but guess... In training, you could have people spot you. But, but a lot of times, people don't, though. That's the thing, right? And I mean, you, it, it, it's, you it's, it's never a... never have a spot. Like, spotting is not... It doesn't even really exist. Yeah, I know that. But you, you, you can still work out with people. You know what I'm saying? So well, yeah. with that, in both, with that, it makes it safe. Of course, of course, of course you. Oh, cool, yeah, of course, of course, yeah, yeah, for sure, right? definitely, definitely, you can, right? So I mean, I don't know. I don't, for me, man, like I would rather try to go heavier on a bench with realistic weight, obviously, than uh, than try to like I was okay in terms of, like what I like to do with calisthenics. Yes, I would rather want to try to backflip. But in terms of safety, I would feel more safe safe under a bar because I know there's safer ways. Like see how you just taught a uh, Tony, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, roll yeah. the bar off and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. when you're squatting, you could do, your squat rack could save you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it saves me. Yeah. Right? Deadlifting, you yeah, just drop the weight. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But with calisthenics, if you trip, if you when you're vaulting over a bar, once you clip, because I've clipped before, and you're you're dead. Like you're you're pretty much dead. Almost in every situation, you can just die in calisthenics. Like, death is like always around. If you're doing a handstand, right? Like, you're doing a handstand off yeah, like a yeah. 10 feet bar, and your hand slips because it happens. Like, you'll be like doing a handstand, and your hand like slips. Okay. You're done. Like, unless someone catches you, but most times no one's there to catch you. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Right? Yeah. So, like, in that sense, 
I feel like if you're just mid air, like imagine, like you can't be spotted in mid air. It's like, it's like you have no, to make no, no, a no. decision to say, okay, I understand I break that my you can. Neck, that's right, but there, there, there's there's right? there's so many other factors that you can you can use to, to help out. You can have rubber matting. I'm sure I'm sure that they do. They have rubber matting on the yeah, like there's matting like, like this. My bar park, but I'm telling you, rubber matting when you're falling from like ten feet, like your, your neck is still broken. You get my you get my I'm point. Saying, yeah, I don't know. In powerlifting, you can still break tendons. You can still break. You you can still you might not break bones. But you can still severely injure yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, I know. Really, I, really severely injure yourself. Right? I'm just saying that the risk factor, I feel like there's more of a risk hurting yourself mid-air and doing tricks than there is a risk factor just trying to push for another PR, right? Mm. Like pushing for another PR, I don't see more risk in that than trying to do the backflip. Depending on how you train, because some people yeah, exactly. will go to like a place where there's soft, like the cushions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're doing the back up there, but even, even in like like in comps, you cannot have the soft like springs. Okay, okay. Like you, you gotta okay. do it like on floor. Okay, okay. And you have to do it surrounded by other bars. Okay, right? okay, okay. So in comps, it's like if you want to do a backflip and you jump off and you snap your neck, you're dead. You get it? Mm. Or if you're trying to do, because hand, handstands are common. Like handstands. Flips, yeah, 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 yeah. It's common. Like any any cow stance competition, if you're not doing flips and stuff, like you're not. You're not winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So you gotta be able to do the flips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in senses like that, I, I'm just type of, I'm the type of person who feels like if you're mid-air, you're just already more at risk than not being in mid-air. You get it? Yeah, yeah, that's, I know what you mean. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Of course you can make it safer in most situations, of but course. again, like in comps, you wanna go to the competitions, there's like always safety stuff. There's people, there's the rack, there's there's ways of getting the bar off. Yeah, the bar yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 it, it, like, it, uh, like I said, in competition, they make it really safe. Yeah, they, they right? have to. They, they, they have to for, you know, insurance purposes and all that stuff. They make it really safe. But training, a lot of times, um, people don't have the luxury of having spotters with them. So the, they, they have to move heavyweight um, outside of them. And sometimes they might not have the rack set properly. It's just like with me. Remember, I was training by myself doing calisthenics? Exactly. Outside? Exactly. When you're doing a handstand on the bar, just like this height, like the height of your freaking bench. Yeah. It's scary. Because remember, your body is mid-air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you're yeah. upside down. So everything's like disoriented. Yeah, you yeah, get yeah, it? yeah, yeah. So when you're upside down on the bar and you flip, like your heart is always like, like you're panicking. Yeah, because yeah, Because yeah. a lot of times, especially when you're tired, your arm could give up. Your arm could give out on you like instantly, because it happened to me so many times. But I catch. I try to catch myself because if I don't, then it's like no one's there to help me. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. So, in that sense, I don't know. Like, I would just feel safer going for a PR, a reasonable PR. Like, obviously, it's more dangerous going for unreasonable PRs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but like, if I'm somebody who knows I could PR 400, 405, I'm going for like a 430 PR. I know like each weight matters up at like at yeah, that yeah, height, yeah, yeah. but again it's like it's it's still reasonable. Whereas with calisthenics, it's even though it could be reasonable, it's always risky even if you're good at it yeah. because anything could clip. Like you could clip anything in the in midair, and once you clip, there's no spotting. It's like it's just prayer. It's prayer. I've, when seen, you're I've seen. It's prayer, bro. I've seen people with mid 300 benches and they get up to. Not even anywhere close to one rep max, and oh, and snap their shit up, and it's like snap their shit up, yeah, snap the, the snap, snap, snap their shit up, right? right? And the, the bar literally collapses on their chest. Yeah, you have yeah, spotters, but that impact of the bar hitting your chest is is, is yeah, very yeah. dangerous, right? Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I guess all, both have their have their risk factor. Exactly. Depends. Yeah. Exactly. Really it's very uh, situational. Because again, like you can make it really safe with with soft grounds. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Calisthenics. Exactly. But in competition wise, there's no like then. I, so then I guess you have to put it in competition wise. Yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah. Because oh, no. in training, you could change the variable in any way. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah, training, that's true. you could have spotters there. You can't. You can't have spotters there. Yeah, yeah. In, in calisthenics, you can have spotters. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Can yeah have you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. In training, yeah, but you in can. But in, in competitions, it's no spotters. It's like yeah, you either yeah, yeah. Just do it or you can't. Yeah, exactly. Right? You either no. do it or you can't. No, that's why I said competition wise. Calisthenics is way harder because because in, well, in calisthenics, when you're co when you're competing, there's like nobody on the the, the field. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, everyone's yeah. like outside. The oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So if anything happens, someone has to like run in. Oh yeah. Whereas with uh with with powerlifting competition, 
there's like the two guys who like unrack the weight for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. That's why I said spotters make it safe. Because when you fail on a weight, they can lift it up for you, right? So yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So that's. I guess that's how it is. Still. Yeah. It is I'll what it still, is. I'll still be more bummy doing calisthenics in any situation. I can't lie. Mm -hmm. I mean, like advanced calisthenics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Like not yeah, yeah, dips yeah. and shit, but like, yeah, yeah. like flips. Uh, oh man. It's crazy, man. Doing yeah. a back lever or a front, no, back lever is more because when you do a back lever and you okay. injure yourself, you're dead, yo. You're okay. falling flat on your face. I've seen the guy do a back lever, rupture his entire like chest and arm. Like, yeah, yeah. it was nasty. Like, everything turned red. Like, it's like you could see the blood. Like, you <laughs> see him bleeding inside. That's like, crazy. Like, like, you know, like you see the yeah, blood. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I know what you mean. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> like I said, this camera's going nowhere, bro. I don't like exploding. 